an embroidered silk handkerchief. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. An ordinary pencil. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. I see the join. This ring was repaired, and quite badly too, with silver. An Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. An old and rather dirty coin. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. And then to gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. Mr. Holmes, the coroner... But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. No. A hand-drawn map. Pile with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's wort flower, Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. <laughs>